Complete the proof given the construction of ray AD bisecting angle CAB. So that's this ray AD that bisects angle CAB. We're going to prove that ray AD actually does bisect angle CAB. So basically, given this picture of a construction, we're going to prove that it actually is a bisector. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at what do we know from the construction. Well, we know that we use a compass to measure so we have the same distance. So for example, from point A out to point B and then to point C, AC and AB, those are the same measure because we use a compass. And the same could be said for segment BD and CD, those use a compass and have the same measure. So we can say those segments are congruent. Segment AB is congruent to segment AC, segment BD congruent to segment CD. Okay, now, there's nothing really else we can conclude from that first statement. What we can get from the picture is the reflexive property of congruence because segment AD is congruent to itself. Now, we actually have three pairs of corresponding sides congruent. So we can say the two triangles are congruent using side-side-side congruence theorem. So triangle ABD congruent to triangle ACD. And the reason, once again, is side-side-side triangle congruence theorem. Okay, now next, keep in mind what we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove ray AD bisects angle CAB. So when you have an angle bisector, the angles are congruent. So using the fact that we have congruent triangles, we can conclude, right here, we can conclude angle BAD and angle CAD are congruent because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So CPC, TC. And finally, we conclude that ray AD bisects angle CAB, definition of angle bisector. We have CAD and BAD, those two angles. They're congruent. That means ray AD is the angle bisector for angle CAB.